Hi you guys, thanks for joining me again for another One Take Wonder. And yes, all I have to do to get the garbage trucks to start backing up is to start shooting a video. But these are done in one take. We're gonna keep on rolling. I got a, I got a great question from Richard, who's a new Overland Bound member down in San Diego, member number 23389. Welcome to the crew, glad to have you. And um, he shot me a message on the forums and asked, uh, can you go on an off-grid adventure by yourself? And this is something that comes up fairly frequently. Of course, you'll hear the common wisdom out there, which is don't go off-grid by yourself. And that is uh, wise if the trail is unknown um, or you know that you're gonna be handling technical trail. However, let's talk about that and break it down for just one second. One of the reasons we like to adventure, to explore, uh, to get off the grid is so that we um, find solace in the great outdoors. We give ourselves some time to unwind. In fact, I'll go so far as to say that if in your life you are a little aimless uh, and you don't know what it is that you need, I'm gonna say find some time for, for yourself, go off the grid and take a look at the larger picture. That's what it allows you to do. Take a little bit of time for yourself away from friends, away from family, away from your job just to figure things out. And that's the impact and the effect that going out there off the grid by yourself will have. It'll give you a better perspective. You'll be more set to navigate your future if you do that. Ask yourself the question, are you on the path that is eventually gonna make you happy? Uh, that is key. So I advocate spending that time on your own and I go off grid by myself quite a few times a year. So the simple answer to the question is yes, you can and you should go out there on your own. With that, there are a few things that go along with that. And we're gonna, we're gonna mention three things that you absolutely need to do should you travel by yourself. One is you wanna stay conservative. You don't wanna go out there and conquer new land and new territory all by yourself, especially if the trail is technical. You know, things go bad quickly and they go bad because they're unexpe unexpected. So you wanna be conservative. You don't wanna be taking big risks or chances if you're out there by yourself. So number one, be conservative, stay safe. Number two, you need something like this. What is this? This is a two-way communications device. There are no gray areas anywhere on the planet as long as you can see the sky. You can basically use this to text anybody with a phone number. Now, I specified two-way comms. There are devices out there that are SOS beacons, but it's one-way comms. If you have to make critical decisions you don't wanna know that maybe somebody's gonna come, you wanna know that someone's gonna come. And this allows you to coordinate with folks that are gonna come and find you. So two-way comms off the grid is essential. This is the Delorme inReach. There are other devices out there. Two-way is what you want to remember. The other thing is that you wanna file a trip plan with loved ones and friends. File it with at least three people. Tell them where you're going, give them at least one GPS coordinate and tell them when they can expect to hear back from you. That is critically important because if you don't come back, they have GPS coordinates and they have an idea where you're going to be if you shouldn't return. So those are the three things. Be safe, file a trip plan, have two-way comms if you're gonna be off the grid. If you do that, you can safely travel off grid by yourself and I would even say, it is vital to get out there on your own, but play it safe. All right, you guys, hey, we really appreciate you hanging out with us. Of course, hit the subscribe button. That does help out the channel. I got this question through our forums. A new member wrote uh, a private message to me. I am Michael over at our forums. Write me a, a private message and, and ask me a question and maybe we'll make a video of it. We are doing a video a day, so we have quite a few topics to cover. All right, you guys, thanks for hanging out. We'll be out there on the trail soon. For now, we're planning, and I'll see you tomorrow.